Hey y'all, so I'm gonna do things a little differently today and I'm actually gonna talk you through a little makeup routine that I've been doing and just some of the products that I have in my top shelf that I've really been enjoying and I figured I would just share them with y'all and switch things up a bit so it's not just music all the time. So I'm sipping on some sparkling water. You can grab a drink or grab a snack and get ready with me, cheers. So I've already prepped my skin with the Ombriolis Le Creme Sensitive and then I did my brows with my Ben Nye eyeshadow palette. So that's all I have on my face right now. I'm going to do a little bit more prep and I'm going to take my Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Glow Serum. And I would describe this as like a serum oil gel. It's really beautiful and one of my favorite products that Danessa has ever come out with. I'm also going to pull back my hair. And then for a little bit of coverage, I'm gonna use one of my new favorite foundations. This is the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. It is absolutely beautiful. It's that perfect combination of like a skin tint and a foundation mixed together. It's beautiful. So I'm taking this in the shade five. I really like applying this with my fingertips. And then I always like to take a damp sponge just to pick up any excess product. Now, I love my Hourglass Concealer, but today I want to do something different, so I'm going to take this Ben Nye Media Pro Coverall Potted Concealer. And I love using the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush for uh, potted concealers like this, and I've used this brush for, I mean, since I was in college. This is one of my favorite brushes, and I think if I could just own one brush, one face brush, it would be this one. Again, going back in with the sponge. And then another one of my favorite products from Danessa is her Balm Contour. So I'm taking this in the shade Light One. I just want to bring a little bit more color to my skin. I'm not trying to contour the face or anything. I just want to bring back some of that dimension. But this has just been a longtime favorite of mine. I love it. I always take bronzer onto my nose. A little bit onto my lids. And then one of my favorite tricks is to actually go back in with my complexion brush, my foundation brush. And you can use that to help blend anything out that's looking a little harsh, especially when it comes to cream bronzer. All right, I'm gonna set my face with my favorite Ben Nye powder in the shade Buff. I love this. I've used the pressed version um, for a while, but I decided to pick up the loose version and it is so good. I almost kind of like it better. So I like to set my under eyes with a really tiny eyeshadow brush. This one's from Makeup by Mario. This really gets into those little fine lines under the eyes. We all have them. And this is kind of a foolproof way of concealing the eye area. And then for the rest of the face, I'm going to take this Ilia Finishing Powder Brush. And then just lightly tap that into the face. Skin looks so pretty. I love all of these products. Alright, so for blush, I've actually really been enjoying cream blush. I'm normally not a cream blush person, but the Tower 28 Power Hour Cream Blush is one of my favorites. It's actually a part of my project pan right now, so I'm really trying to use it at any opportunity. And I'm taking on our Rose Ink 3 brush, and I like to take it pretty close to my eye, and then bring it over the nose, and then bring it to this side. And just like the bronzer, I really like to take this through the face. So I'll go up on my forehead. I'll even apply some to my chin. A little bit to my eyes. And then I'm going to take RMS Living Luminizer. An oldie but a goodie. I'm going to take it with my finger. Just tap this on the tops of the cheeks. We're already quite dewy. I mean, it's just, it's the most natural, like, glossy skin look. So pretty. So, most days, this is it. This is all I will do. I won't even do mascara. I just like to give my lashes a curl. For the lip, I always like to just use my lip, or my, um, my cheek color. So, I'm going to go back in with Power Hour. And then one of my new favorite lip liners is from Ben Nye. It's their lip pencil in the shade Cocoa Cherry. First of all, you get a ton of product. It's a sharpenable pencil, which is my absolute favorite. And this formula and color is so good. I want this pencil in every color. It's so pretty. All I have to do 
is if I'm leaving the house, I can just take these two in my purse and touch up my cheek and my lip throughout the day if I need to. Usually I don't, I don't even bother with it, but if I need to, I just need those two products for anything on the face or the lips. I'm actually gonna tie my hair back with a bandana today. Um, just cause I don't feel like fussing with it. So I usually just kind of tie it like that or I'll braid it and braid the um, scarf or bandana in with it. That's fun too. But I'm so low maintenance with my hair. I was actually considering the other day of chopping it all off into a bob, which is still not off the table, but for now, this is where we're at. All right guys, so that is the finished makeup look. I hope you enjoyed. If you like more of a talk through style video here on TikTok, definitely let me know. All of the products that I used today will be listed on my shop, my shelf. It's linked in my bio for easy access. If you have any questions, of course, leave a comment down below. But I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.